It is Compass FM, uh, Murray Black, Mayor of the Hidanui District. Thanks for coming on to Compass FM. That's always a pleasure, Kerry. I, I, I love these chats. Uh, but relatively informal. Uh, look, I'm, I'm not a really a journalist. I just like having a chat to the to the movers and the shakers around the, the uh, district, and in particular into the Hidanui. Um And one of the stories that's obviously very high on, on everyone's mind at the moment is the uh, tyre fire that uh, started a couple of weeks ago. The second public meeting is coming up very soon. Can you tell us about that? That, Murray. Yes, that's correct. Thanks, Kerry. Um, the second public meeting will be held on Thursday the 11th of January, which is tomorrow evening, at 6pm in the Tin Sheds, and that's in the Amberley Domain, but locals to our area will know what the Tin Shed is. But um, yes, we do welcome attendance to that. Um, it's uh, my understanding that uh, ECAN representatives will be um, there as the lead agent to this process, um, and not sure, I haven't had it confirmed yet with the CDHB but I understand FENS will be there as well. But um, as before, it's important for listeners to understand that they can look at the um, dedicated page on the Hurano District Council website where all of the current information is held on that uh, in that one um, dedicated page. So... Absolutely, and obviously the phone can be answered as well. You, you feel sorry for the person answering the phone sometimes, don't you? Um, but, yeah. But, but that's okay. Oh, we all, yeah, that's right. We, everybody plays an important cog in the wheel, you know, to get the information, the correct information to the people at the in a timely way, and I think that's what uh, we are trying to do as Hirano District Council. Absolutely. And one thing that I, I remember reading in the news here, was it earlier this week or late last week, that ECAN, uh, they can't actually do a heck of a lot to tie a Piles until something happens to the tyre pile. So all of that, I imagine, will be explained at uh, tomorrow night's meeting, six o'clock uh, in the tin shed in uh, in Amberley, of course. Hey, uh, that's that's a pretty serious uh, subject out of the way. How about we uh, go into a bit of a lighter one too? Because when I was a wee boy, my mother used to give me books, and I have had a love of reading uh, pretty much right from the word go. Uh, you've got a preschool story time coming up in the Hidanui Library. That's correct, Kerry. Um, the Hiranui District Library here in Amberley are running a preschool story time um, on a Wednesday morning between 10 and 11 o'clock. And I would just um, invite mums and dads, grandparents, to bring those little ears along to that story time because I agree with your comments. If we can um, influence young readers and allow them to enjoy, you know, the, the closeness and the and uh, you know the just the strength of listening to a story together, I, I think it's lovely. So I do welcome every body to that and I hope the library staff are inundated with, with lots of little people with um, with their carers. Absolutely. Were you a reader when you were younger, Murray? Or are you yeah, still I'm a reader? Are you I, still a reader? But I, actually, now I'm a grandmother. Um, I absolutely love um, my little grandchildren snuggling up and uh, we're reading a story together. So it's a, it's a pretty special moment when that happens. When uh, there are new radio announcers coming on board, they uh, want to come in and be radio announcers. One of the things and it, it really does work is find a kid and read read them the story and use different voices and throw it all around all over the place. Yes. It, yes. Uh, there's many, many things that you can do for that. Now, I understand that uh, the uh, draft regional land transport plan that was released yesterday didn't have a heck of a lot of money north of um, Lineside Road. When are we going to get that uh, one-lane bridge over the Hiranui fix? Is it the Hiranui River? I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. It's the State Highway 1 Hiranui River Bridge. Um, uh, I did get that into the um, long-term planning, but it's not It's not in the in the regional plan for this a cycle, so it is in the site line of sight, but it's not in the ten year cycle that we are um, looking at at the moment. Um, the Pukeko Junction um, is is sitting in there, that but it won't be looked at until twenty twenty four. I think it is just from memory. So we do have some um, some uh, sites that are um, in the project, but not actually in the long term planning cycle for feedback at the moment. Well, you put it into the pot, and here's hoping that it's somewhere along line it will come out. Murray Black Absolutely. I really appreciate you uh, coming on to Compass FM. You, you make time for us every morning and um, I, I just uh, thank you for it uh, very very much. We'll do it again next Wednesday. What do you reckon? Lovely. Thank you Kerry. Thank you everybody. Have a great week. Compass FM.